Good morning, bright and smiling faces. My name is Miss Williams and I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, the Milwaukee Alumni Chapter. I am here today to read to you a story as part of our read along project. I hope you're going to enjoy this story as much as I always enjoy reading to you. So sit back, let's listen and be entertained. The title of my book today is The King of Kindergarten. And the author is Derek Barnes, and the illustrator is Vanessa Brantley Newton. So I'm going to read to you the dedication page by Benjamin Mays. And it states, a child must learn early to believe that he is somebody worthwhile and that he can do many praiseworthy things. The child must have the love of family and the protection they give in order to live and flourish. The morning sun blares through my window like a million brass trumpets. It sits and shines behind your head like a crown. Mommy says that today you are going to be the king of kindergarten. You'll use a golden brush to clean your royal chiclets. You'll wash your own face with the cloth bearing the family crest. You'll dress yourself neatly in the hand-picked garments from the far-off village of Ash and Skash. But gosh, you'll be ready to reign. My baby is heading to school, mommy will say during breakfast. But you're not a baby. Could a baby wolf down a tower of pancakes the way you can? I don't think so. You're growing up so fast, daddy will say, and he'll be right. I can't stay the same size forever, can I? You'll say, one day I'll be taller than you, daddy, and you'll be my little man. Daddy will laugh, but you won't be joking. Then a big yellow carriage will deliver you to a grand fortress. As you walk up to the towering doors, doors, you'll remember mommy saying, hold your head up high and greet everyone with a brilliant, beaming, majestic smile for you are the king of kindergarten. Your teacher will welcome you with a warm smile and a friendly good morning. She'll be delighted by how you recite your name with pride. Welcome to kindergarten. When you head to your royal seat, the kids at your round table will wave and say, hi, like they've been waiting on you all summer. So you smile back, return the wave, give them a cheerful, hi, everybody. The truth is you couldn't wait to meet your kindergarten kingdom either. Your teacher will go over classroom rules and you'll all discuss important matters such as shapes, the alphabet, and the never ending mystery of numbers. She'll even read a book about trucks, trains, and tractors. Whew, it sounds like a lot, but you're the king of kindergarten. Piece of cake.
You will show your bravery at recess when you go up to one of your classmates and ask, Marie, do you want to play with me? Looks like the king of kindergarten is making friends. Not only will she say yes, but she'll lead the way in helping you save the kingdom by battling a fire-breathing dragon. Looks like fun. In the cafeteria, the boy sitting next to you will be missing dessert. You'll have packed your favorite chocolate pudding what an extra, with an extra cup just in case. So you'll say to him, want a pudding, Howie? He'll say thanks, and you don't won't mind at all because what could be cooler than sharing with new friends? Be awesome. We are kind of each other. Be awesome. We are kind to each other. I was trying to read that upside down. After a royal rest, got to take a nap, you'll arise to sing and dance and bop to a rhythmic beat. Nap time. Music time. The day will be one you'll never forget. At the end of it, your teacher will wish you all a magnificent evening and bid you farewell until dawn. On your way back home, you'll think of all the things you can't wait to tell your parents. I made a bunch of new friends. My teacher is nice, and recess is the best thing ever. And tomorrow, it will begin again. Another day as the charming and wonderful and the kind king of kindergarten. What a wonderful story. I was just really impressed with how uh, open and friendly the king of kindergarten was. It was a new adventure for him, but he took the bull by the horns and he made the best of it. Making new friends, being kind. You know, we have to be kind to one another. So he was kind. He shared his pudding with Howie and... Um, he actually took it all in and thought, I can do this because I am the king of kindergarten. So just remember, students, you too can flourish when you have new experiences. So why don't you think about what things you can do to make you stand out? Think of those things that you can do to help your fellow classmates. Then do them. As I always end in closing, do your best. Be your best because your best is good enough. See you next time. Bye for now.